Well, I, I think this uh, conclave, more than any other, is presenting whoever uh, comes uh, to be becomes Pope in, in the next few days with profound challenges for the way forward. The Catholic Church is facing a number of really difficult issues uh, in terms of uh, declining congregations, but more profoundly uh, to do with the paedophile uh, sex scandal that has rocked the church uh, for more than uh, 10 years. We've been looking into one particular case involving a cardinal who will be involved uh, with electing the new pope. Uh, here's what we found. We've asked Francesco Zinardi to do something that's clearly traumatic, to return to the Santissima Annunziata Church in Sportorno, where he was abused as a child. His dogged fight for the truth has exposed a paper trail all the way to former Pope Benedict XVI. In 1981, as an 11-year-old altar boy, he was abused by his local priest, Father Nello Geraldo, who acknowledged raping him at least once a week for five years, and he wasn't alone. Zanardi says many of his classmates were abused too. I didn't have consensual sex until I was 26. I was using drugs, I used to inject heroin. I went into rehab and had counseling and later realized I was taking drugs because of the abuse. The timeline of the scandal stretches back to 1980. This letter from an archbishop to the current bishop of Savona clearly shows the church was all too aware of Father Geraldo's crimes more than three decades ago. It mentions Geraldo, quote, was reported in 1980 for abuse of minors. But rather than inform the police or kick him out of church, Geraldo was simply moved from parish to parish. He was even allowed to set up and run a care home for troubled children in the church rectory. Incredibly, the letter also says Geraldo reported his own paedophile tendencies to the Vicar General of Savona in 2002. But Geraldo still remained a priest. In 2003, the former local bishop, Domenico Calcagno, wrote to Cardinal Ratzinger, who was then the Vatican's enforcer of church doctrine. I would request your kind advice on how I should act in view of the fact that the priest intends to continue his pastoral work. As far as possible, I intend to avoid him having any responsibilities which might bring him into contact with children or adolescents. This letter was also accompanied by an internal church dossier on Geraldo, which mentions that nothing has leaked to the papers. No complaints have been filed with the police. The documents were ugly to read. The church was concerned with the well-being of a pedophile, but they don't talk about a victim. The victims aren't even taken into consideration. The only thing they're trying to save is the image of the church. Despite the incontrovertible evidence against Father Geraldo, at this point, Bishop, now Cardinal Calcagno, didn't kick the paedophile priest out of the church. Instead, he was given counselling and sent to work with prison inmates. We don't know Cardinal Ratzinger's response to this letter. Two years later, in 2005, Ratzinger became Pope Benedict XVI. But in the mountains of Piedmont, Father Geraldo was free to continue his abuse. In 2005, he sexually molested a boy at a Catholic scout camp a crime for which he was later convicted and given a one-year suspended prison sentence. Francesco Zinardi wants to know who at the Vatican helped keep Geraldo's abuse secret. A central question, why did it take so long for the church to force Geraldo to write this 2010 resignation letter when the priest himself had admitted he was a paedophile eight years earlier? The Vatican gave this response to allegations Cardinal Calcagno had covered up child abuse. <coughs> The accusations regarding Cardinal Domenico Calcagno when he was Bishop of Savona in Italy were investigated by both the church and by the legal system by the judge and the accusations were not, they were without foundation. Cardinal Calcagno also declined to comment. But Francesco Zanardi's unconvinced. He's taken his fight literally to the doors of the Vatican, trying to deliver a petition demanding Cardinal Calcagno be disqualified from the papal conclave. But plainclothes police turned him away. His long battle for justice is far from over. This case has been taken up by one of the pressure groups uh, that represent survivors uh, of abuse. They are agreeing with Francesco Zanardi that uh, Cardinal Calcagno should not be part of the papal conclave. At the moment, though, there is no sign that Cardinal Calcagno will be excluded.